the notion for many, many years was quite different about what memory was, uh, you know, going back to ancient times where people thought you sort of memories and knowledge were was intrinsic and you were just somehow probing what was already there and then, and never sort of creating memories or memories as dynamic. And, and then the idea that memories were like tape recorders where they weren't already there, but once they happened, they were in your mind and it was a matter of just going to the right data location and calling them out. And, and what you began to show and have showed, of course, abundantly since then, is that that's not the case at all. That that memories are not static, and 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 maybe didn't weren't even there in the first place. Well, yeah, well, yes. I mean, and that tape recorder, video recorder, you know, model of memory is still sadly uh, widely embraced by la- some lay people. Yeah, I think uh, most people still think memories. You work hard, you get the memory, and and that's it. And if it's there, if it's a memory, it must have been. It must have happened. Right. Memory studies, as you said, had been sort of uh, trying to remember the name of, a, of an animal named Z, w- with the letter Z or, or a series of numbers or facts. And, and you, you began to, your research has involved more stories. Right. What, do, why do you think you, you were thinking stories versus facts in that sense? What, do, what, what influenced you to think in those terms? Is it because you were so interested in the way people really work in the real world of, of trying to remember their own stories or what 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 caused you to go in that direction uh well i i i think i know actually good I, okay. you think you know no one told yeah, you this no I, th- okay. I think i actually know okay uh so there i was you know thinking to myself after that conversation with my lawyer cousin yeah. where um i i thought i want to do something that has some practical applicability something that's more socially relevant um and for, briefly, at, around that time, my father had was dying of cancer. Oh, and right. I wished I could work on cancer, but mm-hmm. I couldn't work on cancer because I don't know anything <laughs> about it. I wasn't. I had no mm-hmm. skills. Uh-huh. Um, so, but what could I work on that I could be excited about? Well, and then to find out what what excited me, I asked myself, well, what is it you like to talk about? When you're, let's say, at a party, a dinner party or something, and you can talk about whatever you want. Um, what do you talk about? And I found myself often talking about legal situations, legal cases. So this made me think, oh. okay, I want to like maybe combine memory with with legal cases. Well, how about eyewitness memory, accidents, crimes, things like that. That's how I got there. 